The, the Commissioner of Information in Delta State is not being fair. Let me, direct, let me correct him one bit. Okay. When he was referring at the time of Olusegun Obasanjo as the president, and the, the, uh, the man who is a chairman from the North, then in PDP, you know, that time the president, the sitting president is from the South. Now they are going to election before Omar Yaudah emerged as a presidential candidate. So the sitting president is in the South. You can't compare it as a presidential candidate. Number two, if the young man said they have not violated their constitution, it is black and white in PDP. You, are, you know who, I'm, who is talking here? We are part of this process in the beginning. It is in black and white in PDP that this time, this time, that the presidential candidate must come from, from the South, whether it's South East or South West or South South. But because they don't have a sitting president, they went to Benno and you know, constituted a committee which are Tom headed. And that committee had a problem. Or Tom said that, okay, hence all the elected officers of PDP have come to the North and agreed. The presidential candidate is supposed to come to the South. Because they don't have a presidential candidate, they bring this upside down law that let it throw the presidential candidate open. And Wilke worked hard and worked hard. And he worked and worked. Maybe he didn't win the election. But what I'm trying to say, now they have won the election, the, the presidential candidate is from the North. The chairman of party cannot be from the North. He's a simple mathematician. Let me go back to his constitution. The constitution did not say the presidential candidate will come from the North. The chairman will come from the North. In the old political party in Nigeria, when one you know, set, set of candidates come from the other side, and that set of candidates will go to the other side, it's in black and white in PDP constitution. What is that man saying in, in, in data stage? I knew him very well when he was AIT. He can't speak about PDP more than me. It is not true. Now they have presidential candidates in the North. The, I mean, yes, the chairman of the party must come from the South. And it's not easy to alter that constitution. So it should not deceive us here. I'm not a fan of Wicked, but Wicked is standing on that you know, ground that all the elected candidates of a party cannot come from one part of a nation. It's a simple my party. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Dominic. And uh, Charles, um, I wonder if you're back up with us, um, technically that is. Um, but you just heard... Um, uh, Reverend Dominic there, one of um, the numerous viewers watching this and uh, looking for some commentary. Um, you, you were explaining an aha. Uh, Charles, um, I, I can see your picture. I wonder if you're able to hear us and if you heard Reverend Dominic's commentary. I didn't hear much of uh, what he said, but I, I, I think the last thing I heard there was um, individuals coming from one part of the country. I thought that was the reason I heard. I would do no, well, uh, the, uh, by and large, the, uh, the, uh, summarizing uh, what he had said was that um, he, he feels that you are being economical uh, with the truth, as we say, uh, in the way you are analyzing uh, this whole matter, that it's not possible for the, uh, the, the, the presidential candidate and the chairman of the party to come from one reason, and it is well known, it is cast in stone, and um, he feels that rationalizing it, you know, is sort of um, sacrificing uh, truth. Well, well if, if that is what he said. Please continue. Please go ahead, Charles. I can hear you. Charles, why did you stop speaking? Because uh, we were hearing you perfectly. But um, you maybe, I don't know. Okay, promise from Oweri. Good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. How is it going? Thank you very much for calling in. It's good. Yeah, just like you said, my name is Promise Abasu. I'm calling from Oweri, Imo State. Um, I think uh, what Professor uh, Wike is saying is simply the truth. Because uh, when you take a closer look at the uh, PDP constitution, you will agree with me that uh, the man is in order, you know. So for the party to move forward, I think uh, they should bury their differences and adhere to what uh, Governor of River State, yes, UK is saying. Because this is a very critical time when you look at the campaign starting when is then this week, that's 28th of uh, September. Mm -hmm. It's very glaring that uh, they bury their differences and they have one mind. Follow their pride and say, look, nobody is bigger than this party. 
Mm -hmm. Globally, is more PDP than others. Let us come to a round table and say, I will resign. Because the purpose of everything is for them to win election. Of, of what profit will it be of PDP to return to you and at the end of the day, they lose election? You understand? So they should look beyond this and do the needful. We can know what he's fighting for. He has committed much in the party. He, he was there when people left, when some big guests left, when, you know, when the time was so bad. And uh, now this is what he's asking for. It's not just for his uh, primordial sentiment or because he wants to be parochial, or but just because he wants equity and fairness who can be justified at this stage. So that is what he's asking for. So let's, let them follow up and make sure that peace rests. Thank you. Thank you very much, I promise. Um... Okay, uh, back to you, Charles. I wonder, did you hear that? Uh, did you hear that? Uh, yeah, yes, I, I heard. Oh, okay. Quite well. Oh, okay. I need my, uh, my wonderful brothers uh, who have shown a whole lot of interest in development of the party, and I respect them for that, to take a look at both the laws governing the party and the possibility of achieving what they are asking for. This equity, nobody is against it. Nobody is against it at all, not even article, nor are you. But we are saying because of what it may lead us to. For instance, have they been able to tell us what will happen to the national secretary of the party, who is from the south at the moment? By the time you are able to bring the chairman to the south, have you decided how you are going to also take the national secretary to the north? Have you decided how you are going to now bring the organizing secretary from the north to the south? All those things have arrangements that we must follow. The question is, can we achieve it within the same period that we're preparing for an election? Nobody is saying Wiki does not have a, a truth in what he's saying. But that this truth, if you begin to follow it the way it is now, it will be injurious to the party. And that secondly, this truth is not grinded in our law. The man was elected. And I asked them, let them answer. What happened in 2006 when Ahmad Ali was the, president, uh, was the chairman? And Yaradua from the North won. Did we ask Ahmad Ali to immediately resign? We must be able to look at precedents. And so when even Jonah, a good luck Jonathan became the president and the chairman of the party, Vincent Obola was from the South, did they immediately ask him to leave or until we now started preparing for another election? So when they talk about these issues, they should first of all leave out the sentiments and then look at the facts of the matter. If eventually, by the grace of God, in the next six months, we're able to form a government. Mm -hmm. And that way, you have a government. Okay, okay. now let's...